Thank you for joining me today as we look at the new rule for any student applying to study in Canada. So you understand the visa requirements change every now and then and the new development that was raised. Actually, I'm so late into doing this video, but I'm happy that I get to I get a chance to do it for you who's also maybe not aware about the new rule that is required as of January 2024, okay? So Canada introduced what we call a provincial, provincial attestation letter, abbreviated as PALS, and this is now mandatory for all international students under Canada's intake cap. So I'll be happy and I'm always happy to keep you up to date with new developments. So what on earth is a PAL or what on earth is PAL? The provincial attestation letter from Canada serves as proof that you as a student have been accounted for under a provincial or territorial allocation within the national cap. How amazing is that? Yeah. So you understand that with developed countries, they are really organized with everything that's happening within their country. And as of January 22nd, 2024, actually this year, the Honorable Mark Miller, who's the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, set an intake cap on international student permit application. This, of course, is to stabilize new growth for a period of about two years. Uh, so this is a new development. Study permit renewals will not be impacted. That means that if you're a, a student pursuing a master's, a doctoral program, any student within elementary and sec secondary education will not be affected by this new development or by this cap. So that means if you're a current study permit holder, you will not be affected in any way. Now to implement the cap, every student uh, or every student applying needs to have a study permit application for a degree. And as they do this, they will require the PAL from a province or territory. So what I've noticed they are doing is that you need to, as you submit the study permit application to IRCC, you will also require to submit a PAL from a province or territory. This will come from your school, which they will get from the province or territory where the school is located. For example, I have a student who's going to Kamba College, right? they will be able to get it from the province where the school is located. Uh, provinces and territories were expected to establish the process very well to start issuing the letters as from March, as from last month. So now we already have a few students who are receiving the PAL letters now. And every province has its own way or its own method of rolling out the provincial attestation because at this point, it means you'd have to follow the guidelines of the specific province you are applying to. Please note, you cannot apply for a visa without the PAL if you've been accepted for any course whatsoever to study in Canada. That's an important thing to know. So the current provinces that I know that are offering the PAL or issuing the PAL is British Columbia, Manitoba, Alberta, um, those to mention but a few. So you need to stay updated on that. And that's why I wanted to just come in here and share this information with you. I hope it's helpful. Please remember to share it with as many people as can be who are interested to apply to study in Canada or are already in the process. Thank you for watching till the end.